idea where things got cut off. Now, it was auto-saving every other turn, so we should be fairly close to where we were um, when I lost the game. Now, I was warned that, that was a possibility with these giant maps and so many sieves. A lot of people have had things crash. Um, I was hoping that my computer would be able to handle it, um, but I'm not, you know, clearly there's a, still a chance that something's going on. Now, it's possible it was just a fluke, and it's also possible that it has nothing to do with the map. You know, this is just the sort of thing that happens in Civ from time to time. Uh, you know, it's still fairly new, and it's a fairly complex game. Lots of room for crashes. So we'll see. We will uh, cross our fingers that this does not maintain a problem. If it if it starts crashing every few turns or something like that, we will have to give up the game, and that'll be a huge, huge shame. But let's cross our fingers. I'm only going to play a little bit longer in this particular session. Um, yes, okay. I remember having done that. So we're replaying a tiny bit, but really not much. I think we're only going to be replaying the one turn. be interesting to see if it crashes instantly. Friendship, yes. Uh, I do. You know, I. You know, this may have terrible diplomatic repercussions for some other people, but I want to be friends with people, so of course I'm going to say that. And if other people are going to be dicks about me being friends with people, then screw them. I didn't want to be their friend anyway. I'm going to move... This archer hasn't really done anything. I'm going to move it back to Liverpool, just so I can feel safer. And a promotion over here? Good. Uh, use accuracy. You have finished, so go there. You bombard over there. And the archer as well. Let's see if we can, can't kill this catapult. don't think it'll happen this turn, but if he sticks around, we might kill him next turn. And go. No crashing, no crashing, no crashing, no crashing, no crashing. <laughs> Does not appear to have crashed. Te oh, saluto. Augustus sum imperator et pontifex maximus Romae. Nice to meet you. Alright, so Rome. Curious that Rome is in the game and I haven't actually met him until now. I guess with France being there and maybe the computer not making open borders. Um, oh yeah, I'm gonna keep building farms here just because otherwise they're gonna have a really hard time working any tiles. Even once I get the money up to start getting some maritime sieves. Okay, are we gonna kill it? Mm, yes! Take that, France! sure you'll never, ever, ever give up, but still. Okay, we want uh, a market. That'll be very nice. I'm going to see if this archer can shoot anything, although he probably can't. God damn you. Stop scrolling. Oh, good, he can. Well, we may as well kill the spearman, then. Go! Go! It takes so long to recover from those archery battles, I don't understand why. There we are. Good work. And next turn. Oh, so we are breaking even financially. A little bit unhappy, but that'll correct itself pretty soon. As soon as we get a bit more money per turn banked in, then we'll build the Coliseum. And I think we've already got a queue in London, or actually it may not be. You want a war versus Alexander? No, sorry. Show Q. Add Q. Where's the forge? Production? That's land units. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Give me a Coliseum. Okay, you retreat back here for some healing. You bombard over there. And you got nothing to do. Apparently I can't tell units in cities to just skip a turn. The only way to get rid of them is to uh, to fortify them or something. Or maybe if I hit space, then W. It'll cycle off. Alright. Good. You just keep building the production there. Thump. 
thump, thump. I just love the sight of the rocks hitting these guys. It feels so incredibly violent. Oh, good archery round. Holy crap. Well done. Go. Yes, if I had a crash once, I should switch the saving to every turn. I was just doing every other turn to minimize the load time between levels, but... But I suppose we should play it safe. Ah, we're missing action! Cancel. Open board. Yes, that's fine. So apparently here I was just witnessing some Arabians shooting at some barbarians. I approve of this. Wow, yeah, there's nothing in Africa. I have to go there and colonize that. Nothing but barbarians. Oh, that's so horribly racist. That's such a colonial attitude. I'm surprised, though, that... Because there are African civs. Well, there were plenty in Civ 4. Maybe there's not as many in 5, and maybe we didn't get them? Well, I mean, we've got Askia, right? So, oops. We've got someone in Northern Africa, at least somewhere. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, right here. Wow! Look how big Africa is! This map is sick. Um... Lumber mill. Oh, we finished that spearman, didn't we? Damn it. Oh, there goes our costs again. Um, that's okay. We're gonna park you up here. At some point, we'll make a move against uh, Scotland. Mm-hmm. Okay, just sit tight. Now, what I hate about the way it cycles through all the military units, you know, make sure that they've all moved, it doesn't actually do that for, um, for cities that can bombard. I'm actually going to move this archer here. So you can easily miss a bombardment, which I think is really stupid and would really, really, really upset me. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to go after the city right now. I mean, it'll be me attacking into fortified spearmen on hills. Well, with enough archers. I'm gonna move this archer back, because he's not doing anything right now. He's totally unneeded. Move this archer forward. Hmm. He could reach over there. We're going to seriously consider making a move against Scotland very, very soon. Although, frankly, well, they've got gold, but yeah, I don't really need gold. If I'm going to expand, it'd be better to go into Africa, I think. Someone can be promoted. Oh, good job. You are definitely getting the rough terrain, because it's all hills and forests over here. Alright, go. Well, I'm 13 turns from steel. That might be a good time to uh, go after Scotland. Build a couple of longswordmen. Well, that archer's an idiot for sticking around. He's definitely going to die. He wanted some extra pot shots on my spearman, who he wasn't going to kill. Like, these are fly bites. They're not... Ugh. You're not accomplishing anything. God, the AI is bad. It's a good thing it has, like, retarded advantages in terms of, uh, production and stuff. Otherwise, it would actually be screwed. Um, and you, can you hit everything? Not quite. You can hit one or the other. But that's, I guess, a good place. Yeah, we're gonna have you just park there for now. And you've got no one to shoot. Nope, there's no way to skip this guy. Spacebar, W... Alright, just fortify. It's a stupid and annoying glitch. Um, yeah, you go up as well. All the way up north. I'm gonna park you, uh... I don't know, here for now? We'll see. Next turn. Come on, France, declare peace already. Oi, if I had friends or money to bribe people with, I would definitely throw more people at your ass. Yeah, see, you're not gonna get through my wall of spearmen. Poor York, it's still size one. Stagnation. I guess it's stagnating because I've got not enough happiness. 
Well, it's production focused too, but I don't think that's actually going to make a difference. There's not enough happiness, it's not going to allow itself to grow. Alright, what time is it? I can play a little bit longer. I feel like... What the hell? I was trying to scroll somewhere, but it got interrupted by something. Holy barbarians! No! Our trireme! Oh. My god, Siberia is full of monsters. Okay, you just fortify. I have no idea if that's actually Siberia. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to hit anything there. So we're gonna go around there. Um, good, you finished that. Excellent. We need, uh, we need stuff here. Keep up the good work, guys. Choose production. Yeah, oh, okay, so we can build a circus here. Awesome, it's got horses close enough, so... Um, we do still need money, but some places are gonna start on that. The circus will help. May as well do it. It's fine. We're not going broke anymore. Yeah, this market's gonna make a huge difference. Can I find out how much money the city's making? Can I click? Load, 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 load. 15 gold. Yeah, so it's gonna make, uh, three or four more once the market finishes. Oh, we got things to kill. Two things to kill. Oh, that I now that I moved my archer away. So Darius is producing the most food surplus per city. And I am down at the very bottom. Zero surplus because I'm unhappy so my cities aren't working the food. That's okay. Bombard. Let's take that out first. Boom! Suck rocks. Oh, that didn't do anything. It's awful. Alright, well, we'll now break even financially. Nebuchadnezzar is making peace with both Darius and Solomon. In the same turn, that's interesting. He just decided that peace is the way, all of a sudden. Cape Town wants Ulundi eliminated. Yeah, that sounds so typical, doesn't it? South Africa being, uh... Being not very nice. Not that they're that bad now, but I'm saying, you know, historically speaking. Alright, you fortify there. You bombard. And there too. Thump. What has all happened? Okay, that's the peace. Cape Town being mean. Isle of Eif being mean. We're no longer giving Darius stuff. We're not getting gold from Darius either, which hurts a little bit, but it's not so critical. Although, I still don't need the horses, actually. Let's go and sell the horses somewhere. Um, Askia's got tons of money. I don't know if I want to give him horses, though, since he could attack some people. Bismarck! Das nun. You're having some problems. Vorwärts. How would you like horses? In exchange for our gold return. Es wäre in eurem Interesse, dass ihr dieses Angebot sorgfältig prüft. Apparently this is just how they value their gold per turn. So I give up 17 gold now, but it's probably worthwhile. I don't mind giving him open borders. Sure. Up. Gemacht. And listen, Napoleon, are you still being a dick? C'est toi. Yeah, of course you are. Uh, the AI in this game, man, these they never want peace. They need to put war wariness back in this game. Or at least have it, you know, the AI make a calculation based on the length of the war. Realize it stops being fun after a while. Um, market. I could build a work workshop first. It will help with all these buildings, but I have money problems now. Well, I mean, either way, in 17 or 20 turns, something's going to have to have fixed itself, but let's just keep building the markets. Why are you so shitty? You got three hammers there. Actually not doing bad in theory, but I don't know. Alright, um... Done. Go. Advance. Babylon has denounced Persia. Persia wants open borders. Sure. <laughs> Long 
wait times between turns. It is saving every turn now, so that's not going to help. But we don't want to lose anything. London can fire upon an enemy. Good. Thanks for letting me know. Kill that. Um, trading post. Okay, money is good. Maybe Hastings has enough passive food now. Um, doesn't really matter either way. It actually produces decent money. I don't know. All right, we'll build a trading post because uh, maritime city states rather are really good. You can get a promotion, accuracy two for even more bonus in open train. That sounds like the way to go. Punish this fool! Nice. Okay. Go. <laughs> After steel, I think we may move towards um, the tech that lets us go overseas, which is going to be what in this version of the game? It used to be like astronomy before. Oh, it's still going to be astronomy. Faster embark movement. Embark can cross oceans. And we can build a caravel. It's going to be real good. Oh, we need a lot of technology to get there. Holy crap. You just keep exploring. You fire on these archers who are foolish enough to walk into my firing range. Like, they don't even want to risk embarking, which I guess makes sense, because I could probably just kill them while they're all being aquatic and stuff, but... It's the most useless war. Like, France... F I mean, we we're just about on time for the Norman invasion. France kicked England's ass way back in the day. This is the perfect time period for them to do so again, but... They have no ability to execute. Which I guess is good for me, but it's kind of annoying me. It's giving me something to do every turn. Shoot my little bow. Um, no, I'm not going to war with Bismarck. You guys need to go to war with France. That's what needs to happen. How did this guy get a promotion? Don't even understand. He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there in the trees the whole time. Bum, 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 bum. Fire. Fire. Nice. Um, I guess upgrades do matter. Okay, more stuff done. What'd you finish? The library? Good. More science, but we also need more money. So you do that. You'll build a lumber mill and go. Like, what I'm doing every turn is so automated that I don't even need to do it. I just need to give general directions to the AI governor to say, Listen, here's what I want. <laughs> um, yes, I'll take an open borders, that's fine. Actually, I should almost be selling the open borders, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. There is only one good. Knowledge. And one evil, ignorance. I do like that quote. So we can now build temples, which gives us a lot of culture, but I don't know if... Well, I mean, culture will help us get social policies, so that's good, but that's a lot of maintenance. I'm really not going to prioritize it. We'll see how it goes. A national epic might get built. I think we will have a monument in every city, so that one wouldn't hurt. There's no upkeep. Plus one culture is good, and more great people also good. Oracle, really good, but I think someone's already built it, so I'm not going to stress too much. And allows research agreements. Oh! That's funny! We'd done a couple of research agreements before, but I guess it was uh, the other guys who had philosophy. So not that we have any money to do that, but I still dream of a day when we will have money once again, and we will be able to start doing research agreements with everyone in the world. Market! And those markets online will help things considerably. Oh, you can shoot someone. Good. Oh. And we can get the spearmen involved in this. That'll be pretty strong. Because they get a 100% bonus against mounted units. Plus he's got the terrain bonus. Plus horsemen don't get defensive bonuses from terrain. 
Uh, we will get shot at a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. Um, just to make sure, I'm going to move this guy forward. Take some of the extra attack. I guess there was no reason for me to move forward there. Uh, I may have just risked things for no good reason. Let's see how that works out. More production. As much as money is good, production is really seems to be powerful in this game. Considering you get so little of it. Oh no! That's bad. We allowed the swordman to sneak in behind us. He's gonna attack the city. The city's okay. I think this is the one with walls, actually. Mm, hold fast! Hold fast! Oh shit. Yeah, now, now we're in big fucking trouble. That was a huge mistake. What did I do? <gasps> oh my god. What do you want? No. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, wow. We have no money. And we don't have a military unit in the queue. Start on that spearman. I guess I do have the archer there. But, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I can insta-heal this guy? Yes, do that. Thank God. Move back to here. Okay. Next, you are going to shoot him. And you are also going to shoot him. Okay, that's better. Oh, are you actually going to try to cross into the ocean? <gasps> Look at this! Aren't you guys getting ballsy? Alright, I guess... Rather than initiating plan, attack Scotland, which isn't going to happen for ages and ages. We're going to start moving you guys back this way. Because apparently they're actually going to mount some sort of naval invasion. I'm so proud of you, France! Of course, at the same time he's getting the balls to do that, he's also mounting an actual effective attack against York. Which I'm less keen on, but what are you going to do? Uh, you have constructed that, so come over here. Keep building. Actually, I can probably automate these guys. Ooh, I'm worried they'll build roads. I don't want them to build roads if they're automated. But other than that, it doesn't really matter, because I've got them set not to replace anything, nor chop down forests. So I, they'd just be building lumber mills all over, and then if there's any flat, open terrain, then they would be kind of a random toss-up what they build, but none of it would be heartbreaking. Ah. He's happy that I'm friends with Arabia. Well, that's quite cool. Wow. Are you telling me there's someone in the world who doesn't hate you, buddy? Someone in the world you're not at war with? Ooh, ow, ooh, ow, ooh, ooh. Okay, luckily these guys are pretty well fortified for rough terrain. Catapults moving in are not going to help things, though. Minus four money per turn. We are not in a good place. Boom. Oh. I think we ran into some barbarians here. Oh, you're actually in a little bit of trouble, buddy. Okay. Bombard. Um, that guy. Archery, this guy. Good. You just fortify. You cannot fire there, really? Um, you start on that. Advance. You are just going to have to retreat. You've got speed, use it. Wow, the Orient has a whole lot of places to settle. Yes, that's India right there. Приветствую тебя, незнакомец. Hello, Russia. Если твой You're ум и такт сравнимы с твоей привлекательностью. And you can fire on this guy finally. Hooray! Um. Yeah, we're gonna bombard the new guy. Well, he can't defend himself. I don't know if it makes a difference on the bombard. Like, if I had a trireme here, and I guess, actually, that would be a thing. I could put a bunch of, get some actual control over the English Channel. That would be 
a not a bad thing. I think I can safely move you forward. You're going to be in a forest across a river from some hurt units. You're probably okay. I guess to be safe, I can just shoot him. Boom. Suck catapult. Excellent. Choose production. You're totally fine. Although, I could send a military unit up there to help. It's not a bad idea. You finished a market and everything? Oh, sweet. You know what we need? A tri -rave. That will help. In so many ways. Um, and... Hmm. Hmm. It's not going to be great either. Maybe, you know, we're holding out okay over here in New York. Maybe we'll be fine. You know, I think this would be a good time to uh, pause. In fact, there's a bit of hairy stuff going on. I wouldn't mind some feedback, as always. Please leave any tips that uh, might lead to success here. I think we're holding our own, but um, I'm not 100% sure. Our finances are finally starting to stabilize, I think. Um, our expenses have grown considerably, but our income is increasing really well, and we have you know, some markets coming in in a few different places. Uh, although we are building some units now, so a little harbor here will help. Um, so yeah, I think we're moving in the right direction, but who knows. So yeah, leave some feedback, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.